Thank you for joining us. Right now, I have the St. Martin Parish President candidate, Pete Delcom, with me today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so my first question will be, well, statement, please give us a brief summary of your qualifications for this position. I have a varied past, seasoned past, as I, as I put it. I have 15 years of banking experience, loan officer and personnel management. I own my own construction business for about 20 years. And for the last five years, I've been the maintenance and bond supervisor, construction supervisor for St. Martin Parish. So I'm putting all of these together, I bring all these to the table to be able to move into the next venture of my life. Of course, and why do you want to be parish president? Basically, I think, you, you know, at this point in my life, uh, looking at everything that's going on in, in, in Louisiana, in the, in the country, you can't give up. You know, I think I have some things that I can bring to the table, so to speak, to St. Martin Parish to make our parish and government and for the people of St. Martin Parish. And uh, I think I can do that and, and make a difference. Definitely. And why do you, what do you believe is the single biggest challenge facing St. Martin Parish right now? In St. Martin Parish, you have these perennial issues, let's say drainage, road maintenance. Uh, I'm not coming in here to, to reinvent the wheel. You know, I would need to make an assessment on St. Martin Parish government. What have we done in the past? What are we doing now? And what do we intend to do in the future in regards to, let's say, road maintenance and, and, and drainage and, and things of that sort? Mm -hmm. uh, we need to make a, I'm not, again, not in here to, to reinvent the wheel, but we must use our time and monies in the most efficient manner possible. And, uh, that's basically the direction that I would take this in. All right, my next question is, would you try to implement any changes if elected? If so, what would they be? There again, the changes would be, uh, I think me coming in as, as an outside party, never being in this government system before, uh, I bring a new perspective. Uh, come in, do an overview, and this is what I'd used in my business for the over 20 years, make an assessment. What, what works? What doesn't work? What can we do to change it? What can we do to, to fix things or to uh, eliminate things? Yeah. And like I said before, just to make this the most efficient manner of our, of our tax dollars as possible. Definitely. And my last question, St. Martin Parish has been sued by Lafayette and has sued Lafayette over the spoil bank's removal. What happened, a, which what happened a couple of years ago? What is your position on this issue? Coming in, I do not know much more than what has publicly been displayed. I'm not privy to the inside information that parish government or the position of parish government. You know, I would need to come in and once elected, make an overview as exactly what has happened and again, and what's happening now. Uh, and basically on a major decision such as this, I like to get uh, an overview of everything before I can come in and make a qualified decision on, on things as important as, as this thing here. Most definitely. Well, all right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you coming. Thank you, ma'am. All right, thank you. We'll be right back.